What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today we're going to be reacting to Everglow's Back Together and Don't Speak. So guys, we are back with some more Everglow getting into what I believe is actually their most recent album. Am I wrong about that? I feel like uh, it's not, is it not uh, Return of the, uh, what's it called? Return of the Girl. Is that not the most recent album from Everglow? I may be wrong. There may be one more, but either way, we are getting into the B sides of this album. This is the album with uh, with Pirate as a title track. I might actually just quick you check my uh list this is my thursday list no this is these are actually at least from what i've put on my list the last uh couple of b-sides only no not not completely we still have some b-sides uh other than uh these two that we're checking out today right but i am very very excited to get into this song really really like the concept of pirate as like a title track and it seems like judging from the album cover that it's like an an overall concept for the whole album so i'm, I'm a little excited to see what we're getting into with back together and don't speak for Don't Speak, we'll be checking out a performance video. For Back Together, we'll be checking out a lyric video. I'm excited. Let's get right into it. Okay, it's really a nice quiet song here from the beginning. Hmm. instrumental that's building here on these vocals Ooh. wow okay Ooh. right uh. Wow! <laughs> wow! Yo! Mm. Hey! Okay, I was honestly not expecting a rap in this, okay! Oh. Oh. Hey. Mm. Oh, it's a like, what a nice like emotion this brings. Oh, it's really one of those, you know, concert songs, waving your hand, especially here at the end. Turning on the light on your phone. Oh, 
with his layering his vocals. God damn, that was amazing. Honestly, very, very surprised that this is the uh, the first B-side of the album. Feels much more of a uh, like a song that would be, um, just in terms of the actual tone and stuff, like a song that would be more towards the end of the album. That being said, the lyrics and what the song is about for that, in that sense, it makes a lot of sense to have this song in the beginning because it's like a back together. Really, this is like, it's a good beginning to an album saying, okay, now we're back together. Now now the album begins and I really really like that it's super super beautiful it reminds me a lot just an, an emotional level of the um, oh, what's this song called the uh, the one for um, what what's his name the, the fast and furious song uh, with uh, it's been a long day you guys know uh, what what song I'm talking about it definitely reminds me a lot about that on an emotional level and it's really really beautiful but yeah we're setting the bar high already so let's get right into uh, don't speak Okay. Also kind of quiet. I was expecting this to be more EDM like. Okay. Yo. Okay. No, we going groovy. Okay. Oh. This was not what I was expecting. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this beat is go. Incredibly catchy. Mm. Funny after them having a song also called Hush on album. Whoa, yo, that was okay. The vocals here, okay. Hmm. Ooh. Yo, the style of singing is so cool here. Oh, it's so nice. It's actually so good. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Lovely vocals. Ooh. Ooh, getting kind of angelic then. <laughs> so, this is so much fun. Don't speak. Running these background notes as well. God 
damn, even ending it with the little mm, don't speak. Absolutely adore this song. First of all, not at all what I was expecting, both from Everglow as like a group. I was not expecting them to go into something this like, I would say cutesy, right? This is a completely cutesy uh, concept and a very, very cool groovy poppy uh, song. I was not expecting that from, um, from Everglow, first of all, but also I was expecting something a lot more EDM like since this was like a performance video. Uh, typically when we do have Everglow songs where they have, uh, at least from our my experience, the, the songs where they have a performance, which is typically title tracks, it's always something uh, kind of hard for hard hitting, kind of EDM like. So I was very much expecting that, but no, they went into something completely, completely different, which I absolutely love because they just went and showed off that, you know, we can also do this. And I really like that. So far, they've been absolutely killing it with this album with both Pirate and then these two first B-sides where they've actually explored some two very, very different, uh, different, what's it called, concepts and genres, especially also comparing it to Pirate. That is just super, super dope. The choreo as well is just really, really different. It's super, super just nice and, and happy and cutesy, which is, is just mind boggling to me. Yeah, guys, that was Everglow with Back Together and Don't Speak. Now, uh, I, I got, I found out the uh, the song I was thinking about that Back Together reminded me of. It's the See You Again by uh, Wiz Khalifa. And that's just the kind of emotion that I got from the song, which I absolutely love. It's already, like, that song in itself is already an incredible song. So having another song that is in the same emotional uh, spectrum is incredible to me. And it's really, really nice to see uh, the different Everglow members come in with those kinds of vocals compared to the vocal that we used to in uh, title tracks and stuff because it is a ballad. It is something completely, completely different from what they are, what we are used to listening to, what I'm used to listening to from Everglow. Then, once again, we have another thing that is very, very different and don't speak. It being really, really happy. It being really, really, uh, what's it called? Really um, cutesy, which is just it's not something I would expect Everglow to do at all because they've had a pretty cool, like, badass, uh, almost, like, girl crushy uh, concept for most of their title tracks and stuff so having them come in with something more cutesy is really really mind-boggling to me but they absolutely killed it incredible songs again probably one of my favorite b-sides from them and i love it but do let me know what you guys thought about everglows back together and don't speak down in the comments below and i guess i'll see you guys next time